I get it. I got my Christian insurance by hook or crook. Thank you, Crystal. I love you, my sister cousin. Did a fundraiser and everything else, trying to come up with the money and couldn't even figure out how to get the money off the fundraiser. But God had a plan, honey. And I got my insurance. I signed my last page. I paid the money. It's been faxed to the city. And we're done. I can sleep. Lord have mercy. I can sleep again. So, it's uh, a good thing. This blog is about a middle-aged black woman with PTSD and depression branding herself after raising four people. One was a severely autistic boy who was not going to self-abusive. Now he's doing good. He's living in a host home, home, and he's enjoying life. Live right around the corner. He's past his house actually, but it was too hot for me to walk. I had to run down here. I had to walk over a mile to get uh, my insurance because I was snoozing when I was in Chicago. I found myself falling in love and uh, trying to take care of my daughter, who has bipolar, and it's really hard to deal with her and her mood swings and to help her son because she has bipolar makes it hard for him to function sometimes. So I was trying to stay there with them and help them out. But she was so abusive to me, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. People that are dealing with these bipolar children, a lot of these mothers are being abused in their homes and they're afraid to say something. They're afraid to call the police on their child because they know their child is not well. But their kids are abusing them. I'm one of those. My daughter acts just like her father. And then he got in on it and told her to put me out or he wasn't going to help her with her tuition. And guess what? He still didn't help her with her tuition. He's schizophrenic and bipolar and won't go get any help. And now I have a bipolar autistic son and a bipolar daughter. And it's terrible. I mean, she curses me out and snaps on me over everything. And right now she's not speaking to me because I wouldn't let her put me out every day, abuse me, and stay there and watch her kid for it. So I, I use you and treat you like garbage, you know, and I cannot enable that. I cannot let her believe that that is right, because it's not. That's not how you treat people. And she's going to college, get a graduate, get a degree. She wants to work at entertainment management. She needs to learn how to treat people. She don't know how to talk to nobody. Nobody. And her father, he a piece of work. He a piece of work. Evil like you ain't never seen before. I'm so glad he's out of my life. But he left me with two children that have mental struggles. And he's so crazy, he can't do nothing about it. And if you ask him, ain't nothing wrong with him. And he just as crazy as hell. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Because back in the 60s, we didn't deal with those type of things. So these are some of the things I've been dealing with, and the reason, that's the reason I have PTSD and depression. From raising these kids and have to deal with it. I have to go through all kinds of traumatic things with no natural supports, nobody that cares. And I'm in trouble, and I need some besides a few select people. People don't care. They don't care. They tell me I don't need them. Everybody on this earth needs them. Um, and the people that's telling me that would do anything for their kids will run through fire for them. I'm not supposed to get any help. I'm not supposed to need nothing. And that's cool because they're making me better. I'm going to give Crystal that money back. You know, I'm gonna, that was a loan. I'm going to give it back to her. It was just $47. I will give that back to her. But I know not to ask people for nothing, you know. I don't ask them for anything. I can't ask them for nothing. But they get pleasure out of me being in trouble and needing help. And them being able to say no and mistreat me. You know, I really think they get a lot of pleasure out of that. So, I'm not asking for nothing. But for the record, you should be able to get help. White kids and stuff like that. Their families invested. I got some people in my family that would invest in their kids, maybe. 
If their kids was doing what I was doing, they would give them money and they would help them. They would have paid for the insurance and everything, paying their phone bill and all kind of stuff. You know. But when it comes to me, I don't deserve that type of treatment. I'm supposed to struggle and scratch. And it makes me a better person. And when I get on my feet, I don't have to worry about nobody. I don't have to worry about taking care of nobody, helping nobody, or nothing. Because in the community I'm in, you don't help nobody. It's the people that you favor. I don't favor nobody. Ain't nobody my favorite right now. Because ain't nobody really got no love like that for me. I do love my cousin, sister, brother, Gerald Dwight and Crystal. I love y'all. All three of y'all have helped me in one way or the other through this struggle. I surely, surely, God knows I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of my aunt and my uncle. They did such a good job of raising their kids. They really did. My cousins are some awesome people. Daryl Ballard, Crystal Anthony, Dwayne Ballard. They just awesome. And I just love them unconditionally. So this month we got three classes. Next month we'll have five. We're going to go to Heritage Park. Black Mountain, Whitney Ranch, and incorporate soul line dance classes throughout the week all through those parks. Then we're going to have the dance team that's competing and representing the city of Henderson, putting us on the map with line dances, representing the parades, representing our community events, going out into the community dancing for the people. Dancing is a wonderful event. And uh, I want to contract with the health and wellness centers as well. Like the nursing homes, I can come in once a week and do my chair exercise. I'm going to start talking to some social workers once I get everything lined up. So there's a lot of opportunities for my business to get out there and to heal the world through dancing. You know, then we're going to work on those clothesline. I had created a lot of leggings. And special t-shirts and stuff like that for dancers and then eventually we'll get to the plus size two-piece swimming suits so all those people that thought i was confused and didn't know what i wanted to do i know what i want to do i just had to figure out how to do it by myself i do have a sprinkle of blessings in my life and i have to just Go to them only when needed. Don't take advantage. Give them their money back and get on my feet. Because it's tough. My mom's in the hospital. She's in intensive care. She said they're going to take her out of this. So I hope she feels better. She never liked me a whole bunch. I remind her of my dad. So. It was easy for them to make me the black sheep. They do have a good unit. Yes. But I'm not a part of it. It's just me, myself, and I. That's all. That's it. So. I'm so happy. I'm glad that uh, my uncle and his wife will let me stay there until I can get on my feet. I plan on moving as soon as possible because I don't want to wear out my welcome. And I have been pushed aside, put out, uh, talked about enough. And I just don't want to. Last thing I want to do is get put out of somebody else's house because I've been put out of so many places. As many people as I let stay with me, that's how many people that put me out. You know, and my daughters, they put me out. Because they just spoil and selfish. My oldest daughter put me out of a crackhead man that's up in her house selling drugs and disrespecting and mistreating my grandkids. I wasn't going to take all that, so I had to go. And she did it in the most nasty way. Not only did they put me out, they stole my credit card and my driver's license. Yes, they did. So I am at the point with her. Well, I don't, I'm scared to see her. I don't even want to see her. I don't trust her. I don't even want to be around her. I really don't. I don't trust her. 
I don't trust her at all, not even a little bit. And she lies just like a fuck. She told my mother that she was, uh, they were friends. They ain't friends. She's lying. She just want people to help her take care of him. She takes care of him. Because he's a clown mess here. He got a degree in it. He'll tell you all about it. He's happy and everything else. So it's disgusting. And that's what we deal with. But through all of that, I'm still branding myself. MDC, Mahogany Dreams, Flying Dance Creation. We're going to go out in the community and do fitness, do dance. We're going to have a train. We're going to create a train dance bar for you to keep your minds on something constructive. We're going to help the seniors with their blood flow and the arthritis and the diabetes. And we're going to dress people and make them feel happy and enjoy life. I'm going to die trying to do that. Nobody has my corner. Nobody. I thank God for my cousins. There ain't nobody going to invest in me. If I just sit around and watch. Just sit around and watch. They just look at me. I wonder if they got any uh, studios up in here. Flamingo Polo Club. Give me a studio apartment. That's all I need. I'm going to give me a car probably coming up in a couple of weeks. And I'm fighting. I've been asking my Facebook. I have a lot of followers on that Facebook. Over 2,000. They watch my blogs and everything. And I've been asking them to come over here and support me on YouTube. So if they do, hello. I appreciate you. I need views on YouTube. It's important. Hope you all have an awesome, awesome day. You know, awesome, awesome weekend. Whoever takes the time to look at this. I'm trying to brand myself. I'm a 30 year retired vocational specialist. I raised four people, a young man with autism. I've been homeless for the last year and a half because of a plumbing issue in my home. Um, somebody that I have approached to try to stay with so I can get on my feet have put me out. Lovers, family, everybody put me out or denied me. So now I'm staying with some family members so I can get a place. I had a place and my roommate took my money, paid half the rent, and it was in the middle of the night for me to get evicted. So um, it's been rough. When you're restricted to a limited income, I just get the bare minimum for retirement every month. I don't have a pension because my son was nonverbal and self-abusive. So I had to work when I could, you know. I did work, but I changed jobs a lot, did independent stuff. I had to be creative to get my son to the position he's in today. So, yeah. Now I'm just walking out in the sun, trying to get back to my insurance. I got it done, thank you, Lord. I was trying not to worry about that. And I thank my cousin, Crystal. I thank her so much for helping me. I thank her so much. I hate asking for stuff. I'm going to give it back to her. You go ahead and get off. The sun is killing me. I really be good walking over here because it's so hot. And like I said, it's over a mile in the desert. But a girl got to do what a girl got to do. But you out here on your own trying to make it. You got to do what you got to do. And you have minimal help. Then you got to do what you got to do. That's the way it comes. You all have an awesome, awesome day. God favors you because he favors you. 
he brought me through and he sealed this contract. It is totally 100% sealed. MDCs is operating. Next month, when I get some money, I'm going to go get the license. And we'll be up. You all have a good day. Ciao. Thank you.